So today we're going to discuss recently released iOS 7 beta. On the surface, there's a lot of things that have changed. First things off, it's very colorful. It's flat. There's not a lot of gradients. There's not no drop shadows, nothing like that. Here you can see the font has changed. You know, we're lots of lots of Helvetica. So there's no swipe to the left. Spotlight, you drop down. Messages is kind of cool. If you are in a conversation, you can slide back and go back to the menu screen. Newsstand has changed. It's not a bookshelf. It's just a color blurred color gradient. I don't like this. You can't really see that it says newsstand down there. Calendar is more like a timeline. Now that down here is an inbox. When you used to get invites and you accepted them, they would disappear. Now you can see that you've replied. There's a reply tab. There's a new tab. Also, let's look at notification center. Huge, huge change. You can see what you've missed, like phone calls, people responding to stuff on apps and Instagram and whatnot. Let's just go ahead and look at the control room. Um, you can access your airplane mode, wireless, Bluetooth, on and off, uh, do not disturb mode. You can change the brightness. You can listen to music, adjust music. Um, there's a flashlight mode, which has been the common hack in the, uh, the jailbreak community, but also they've added a calculator function, which you can turn into a scientific calculator. And then there's also the camera mode. So you can access your photos and your camera from, from the slide to unlock. There's no little icon down here where the camera, video camera used to be. To switch between modes, you just swipe left and right. So it's the pano mode, square, photo, video, and your photo stream here. Photos, it'll auto-organize them by place. I recently went on a trip to Portland, so I've got photos, train trip to Portland. Those are categorized up here as moments. But then you go back to collections, and it's a little bit broader. So here's a week, and here's a few days. But then I go back to years, and you can see it's by year. Let's go into uh, music. And here you have radio stations, which is pretty huge if you look at Pandora, the success of Pandora and Spotify, things like that. But now you can, I can listen to songs and it offers me a chance to buy the song on, uh, on iTunes. Previously, Game Center was a felt, green felt, card plane, card deck kind of looking thing. And now it's changed. Uh, it looks very Pixar. This is kind of a cool thing. In order to use the compass, you have to, you have to like tilt your phone around and then it shows um, like a little calibration thing. So there's the compass, but to get it super flat, this circle has to be etched in the crosshairs. Previously, when you double tapped the home button, it would bring up all the apps that are running underneath the dock. When you do that now, you get a preview of all the apps that are running. This is very reminiscent of some other operating systems out there, Android. Uh, uh, it's really easy just to kill an application running in the background by just sort of swiping it away. Safari is interesting. On the bottom, you can see these icons. This is like a back button, forward button. I'm not sure what this one is, but when you click it, I believe it turns into a share button. And then when you click to view your pages, you can sort of swipe through them like a Rolodex, which is kind of nice. And then just kill them like this. So, okay, let's go into settings. Um, I found some bugs in settings. So like if I go change something, airplane mode, or I've turned Wi-Fi on and it's still off. It doesn't always match up. This is beta and there are all these like little, kind of little weird quirks. Uh, for example, the badge on the social apps thing here, my folder, I'm gonna click this and watch what happens to the, the number. See, it sort of shifts and it's not as smooth as you would expect Apple design to be. Battery consumption is really, really high on this beta. I wouldn't recommend it to an average user. On the surface, there it looks a lot different, but fundamentally there aren't a lot of changes. And what they've done with, with photos and adding some more integration with social networks like Flickr and Vimeo are good steps, but really there's nothing really very new here other than a facelift. 